Reserving the right to object, I join the Chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee in being supportive of Iron Dome, but I think it should be paid for. I think the American taxpayer dollars that pay for it should come from money that could go to the Taliban. There's a fund with over $6 billion in it that was designated for the Afghan government, and that money, I think, could be spent on the Taliban if we, not if we do not rescind that money. The justification for my proposal for paying this is simple. Only an economically strong United States can be a militarily strong ally of Israel. I support Israel. I voted for hundreds of millions of dollars to support Iron Dome. I'm glad the United States has a strong bond with Israel. But the United States cannot give money it does not have, no matter how strong our relationship is. The United States is approaching $30 trillion in debt. Our out-of-control spending added $3 trillion to the debt just in this fiscal year. A day of reckoning is coming, sooner than you think. Interest on the debt will be larger than what we spend on national defense in just a few years. If the debt weakens us to the point where we have difficulty funding our own military needs, how can the United States continue to be a reliable ally to Israel? Getting our fiscal house in order does not mean that we are failing to support Israel. Far from it. The billion dollars under consideration today is on top of the more than $1.6 billion the U.S. has already given for Iron Dome. And that's not all. The U.S. provides Israel with just under $4 billion in aid annually. To date, the United States has provided over $146 billion in aid to Israel. In addition to Iron Dome, the U.S. has helped Israel fund other missile defense systems as well. We spent $2 billion on David's sling and $3.7 billion on aero programs. That means the United States has contributed over $7 billion to Israel's missile defense system. Iron Dome is an, indefensible, is an indispensable defensive tool. That not only saves Israeli lives, but Palestinian lives. I want an Israel strong enough so that it does not have to rely on American support. But if we are here to add an additional billion dollars in aid, all I ask is that we make sure that it is paid for. My amendment would rescind $6 billion in Afghanistan reconstruction money that otherwise might go to the Taliban. Secretary Blinken said as recently as two weeks ago that this money may well go to the new Taliban government. Under this arrangement, we would devote a billion dollars to Israel's Iron Dome and return the rest to Treasury. This is clear to all of the Republicans. So it needs to be very clear today that Republicans support paying for Iron Dome and they support paying for Iron Dome with taking away money that would go to the Taliban. I hope my colleagues will work with me to strengthen Israel, strengthen the United States, and strengthen our alliance. I ask for unanimous consent that the, Senate, that the Senator modify his request so that instead of this, his proposal, the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of calendar item number 140, H.R. 5323. Further, that the only amendment in order to be my substitute amendment, which is at the desk, I further ask that there be two hours of debate equally divided between the two leaders or their designees upon the use or yielding back of that time, the Paul Substitute Amendment at the desk be considered and agreed to. The bill as amended be considered read a third time and the Senate vote on passage of the bill or as amended with no intervening action or debate. Best. Madam Re President, reserving the right to object, I think it is very clear and very important that it be very clear that I've offered to fully pay for the Iron Dome system with an extra billion dollars. The objection is coming from the Democrat side. They're objecting to it being paid for. We've offered this fund of six billion. We've offered to modify it and make it less so there would still be some remaining money in this system. We've offered other funds. We've offered a, a basically open invitation to the other side that we just think it ought to be paid for. So the objection from the other side is to paying for Iron Dome, to paying for the billion dollars. Interestingly, aid is already going to Afghanistan while the Taliban is in charge. Now, allegedly that aid is going to charitable organizations, but the history of the Taliban has been to withhold, control, manipulate, and corrupt charitable organizations as well. I think it's a mistake to have money already flowing into the new uh, government under the Taliban and in charitable organizations because it basically makes their job easier and will make the public more pacified if they're uh, being fed by the Western world. They wouldn't be as happy if the money's being destroyed and it's chaos. So really in some ways you do help to stabilize the Taliban by sending more money into there. But Secretary Blinken was asked this very question in committee by myself. Can you guarantee that this $6 billion will not be released at any time to the Taliban? 
And he said no, the implication being that if the Taliban behaves, he sees this $6 billion going to the Taliban. I think it's a big mistake. This is a big issue. Iron Dome is a big issue, but it's also a big issue whether we send money to the Taliban. They already have $80 billion worth of our weapons. I think it would be a real big mistake to send money indirectly or directly to the Taliban, so I object.